Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And today we're jumping into the world of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Yes! Now this is a video I wanted to do a while ago, but Zeus waited to release the cast photos until Jocelyn made her final pick of the girls, which you know in a recent um episode she did so we're gonna go over everyone's look so we have 13 girls including jocelyn that makes 14 looks we're gonna look at today okay so we're gonna go straight into it if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this content consider subscribing and joining the garden if you are returning welcome back Pooh. let's get straight into it these girls are serving looks some look good some look well let's go straight into it if we like their look we're gonna give them some cabaret cash but if we're not feeling that look well we're gonna send them back to the strip club with stevie uh -huh. so let's go straight into it you guys we just having fun lighthearted she and we're just looking at the girls looks now the first girl i want to look at is spin we recently met her and spin definitely seems like a girl who had a hardened past but she looks at dance as an opportunity to express herself because she says she used to be very angry and looking at her cast photo i can see it i can see the intensity of her through the photo but as far as the look goes it's unique it's different um it looks like she's combined maybe two different looks together to create this one look um the red hair is a good pop of color because um, her main accessories are all black. I don't see the full body look. They only show the girls like from the knee up. So I don't know what she's wearing at the bottom. But as far as this, I would say that spin is looking good. Hey, spin. I'm going to go ahead and give you some cabaret cash. Yes. Next up, we have Danny. And you know, Danny was one of the girls chosen to be a part of the cabaret. Now, Danny on the um, actual show has long braids, but in her promo picture, she is wearing a unit and it looks good. Looks like she wore a nighty on set. Her makeup looks really cute. As far as a cast photo, this is cute. What do I gather from her looking at this? Well, I would say maybe she's soft and subtle. What did I get from her on a show? She can dance. So as far as that, I'll give her some cash. You know what I'm saying? She literally is there to do a job and she's doing it well. Next up, we have Egypt. Yes, Egypt look like don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Yes, I love the hair. The pose is given. Don't play with me. Yes, her neck is strong. I love it. The face is good. This is cute. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some cabaret cash. I think Egypt is definitely looking cute. Next up, we have Tilo V, who's showing off on the show, y'all. She getting into her first brawl next week. Yes. Tilo V is sporting a shortcut finger wave blonde red lip. She got on a black top and bottoms. Now, the outfit is simplistic. Now, you knew this was a cash photo. Now, some of the girls do have on basic looks, but um, Tilo V. Tilo V, I don't know you, but... I don't know. T. Lovey, I'm going to have to send you home with Stevie. I'm sorry, Pooh. As far as the cast photo, I feel like you could have did anything else. Girl, you could have... You know what I'm saying? It's just giving... <sighs> Go ahead, Stevie. Go ahead. Stevie can have her because I feel like she could have came harder. Next up, we have Holiday. Now, Holiday is already giving messy on a show. Jocelyn already had to chin check her. But she looks fun in her photo. The blonde hair, the bra. Mm, I would have maybe just wore pasties, but she wanted the top to match the panties, which it did. The bodysuit, I guess. The nails look good, girl. I do like your nails. I'm sending her with Stevie. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if the hair was black or something. I don't I don't know what it is about this look. But yes, you will be going home with Stevie. You're going back to strip club. Uh-huh. Now, let's look at Precious. Uh-huh. You know who Precious gives me a little bit. What's that girl name from season two? Boss Tech. Yeah. She giving me Boss Tech a little bit. I definitely think Precious did her thing. No, she's not wearing much, but the stance, the energy. Oh, I love that necklace. Yes. I know that's right, girl. I love the eyes, the lips. You know, she's very, you know, modelesque, if you will. Yes, I think Precious did that, and I'm definitely giving her some cabaret cash. Go off on them, Precious. Yes. 
Now, next up, we have Abby, the girl who's been making headlines all week, honey. Yes, Abby is wearing fingerless gloves along with this um, looks like pelvic high dress, has peekable holes on the side, and of course, she has the long hair going down in the back. Her makeup is subtle to none, but it does look like she has on eyeliner and a lip. Um, as far as this look, I think it's pretty cool. It is simplistic, it, no jewelry dang and i can't see her ears or her heels to see what she may have wanted the bottom uh, as far as this i mean the stance is strong she looks model-esque i don't know abby but i'm gonna go ahead and give you some cabaret cash i know stevie was hoping i was gonna say no but i'm gonna go ahead and give you some cabaret cash you can go ahead on tour mm -hmm. now next up we have the voodoo diva andrea uh-huh who definitely left little to the imagination with that top so andrea's definitely giving me giving me i just came from dance class and i'm rushing to the photo shoot her hair mm, you know, I really can't say much about it because if I go back to Abby, Abby hair was just bone straight down too. So the face looks really good. I like the eye makeup, the lip, the pose, the outfit, Stevie, Stevie outside y'all. So his son coming in, but um, somebody come get her because she got to go. Uh-huh. I feel like Andrea could have did a lot better. Um, And then with her theme being voodooism i feel like she could have did so much with her look and you know what i'm saying like she could have really played but she ain't want to play so go ahead to the club with stevie now we getting into the og girls girls who have been through the game okay so we just went through the newbies and you know what since those are all the girls from the new cast let's see if we have a favorite thus far so i'm looking through their photos now the first one I like, I'm going to say Spin. And this is based on their looks, guys, because I haven't really got to know their personalities. As far as look right now with just the new girls, I'm going to give Spin that one. Um, who would be a number two with the newbies? I'll give it to Precious. So I'll say Precious and Spin. I really like their cast photos. You know, it, it looks representative of the cabaret. So now we're going to go into the OGs. First up, Miss Wet Wet. What do I think of this as a comeback look? Oh, God. Um, it is an improvement from her first cast photo shoot. I will say that. It is an improvement for her first cast photo shoot. But the hand placement, the it gives a little awkward um and for that i will be sending you out with stevie i do think the hair looks good and the makeup looks good but the hands and everything i don't know i feel like it could have been a little bit better it's very safe and very relaxed you see what i'm saying um you will be leaving with stevie wet wet absolutely next up we have miss natural miss natural wasn't playing she has on the arm gauntlets she has on a black pasties with the tube top and a skirt looking as big as the top yes natural stop playing natural came through natural you definitely getting some cabaret bucks this gives cabaret and it gives comeback mm-hmm power that's what it's giving me y'all don't play with me y'all i love the hand placement it's soft and strong you see what i'm saying i love that she went very feminine with the body because you know how society is with women with shaved heads they think sometimes it's masculine so i love that the top half you know what i'm saying is a little mess but when you drip down it's softer it's soft enough it's boom 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 yes natural go off you're getting cash yes now next up we have yummy p she is the queen bee of the season as she has claimed herself um she has on a big bow in front of her dress is cr crumpled up she has on the wig that jocelyn took off of her head this episode she has on a crown she does have on the um handless gloves so it's just on her wrist and goes up to her elbow and it looks like the bow is attached to the black dress her makeup is minimal looks a little pale the lip is pink um oddly enough 
because of the stance and everything hands on the hip you know what i'm saying when i dip you dip he dip so you know what i'm gonna give her some cabaret cash it's giving me comeback the outfit is a mess but i feel it you see what i'm saying she's representative of i'm a gift i'm a princess i'm a queen love me you see what i'm saying i mean would i wear this no but girl i feel like this doesn't compare to her season two photo like her season two cast photo was everything yeah, I mean, you know what I'm going to do? Since I already said I'm going to give you the cash, you can have it, but you're leaving with Stevie and the son. So, you know, you didn't got to mix a booth. I didn't already give you the money. I ain't taking it back. So, you know, but you will be leaving grounds because I was going to, but then I'm like, mm, she could have came harder. If all season long they told you about that hair and you still slapped it on at the photo shoot, oh God, well, there we go, y'all. Next up, we have Lucky Hustler. And she is so happy. She's like the fighter of the season. She's been fighting to be there, fighting for her opportunity, buying gifts. I love the big smile. I love the big, bright smile. The baby has the braids. She has her hands on her back like, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I love the necklace. The dress is simple, but it's cute it's giving luckies here at the cabaret i'm gonna give lucky some baddies ca i mean cabaret cash because she did that and she looks happy to return and like just think if you're a big fan of hers and you see her post a pop-up you'll be so happy that she's back so that's what it's giving me i'm gonna give her some cabaret cash now next up we I, and this is last out of the ogs we have Daisy. Now, Daisy definitely didn't come to play. Daisy has on the dress. She has on the underwear underneath black, of course. The long black hair. She's giving me the Lost Kardashian. Yes! Daisy did that. Go off, Daisy. Yes! You definitely getting the cabaret cash. You do not have to go back to the strip club with Stevie Girl because I know you were saying you ain't want to in this episode. You ain't got to. You got cash now. Now, who do I think look the best out of the OGs because out of the OGs it's only one two three four five yes I'm gonna go ahead and give it to natural as far as uh, coming back and everything I like it I don't know is it just because the pasties <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's probably why I'm picking it because of the pasties because Daisy looks really good too. Daisy fans, if they see her pop up, they will be in love. Oh man, it's a tie. I'm going to give it to Daisy and Natural because they did that. And of course, last but not least, we have Jocelyn. And she's wearing a simple black dress. Um, her makeup looks really good. The earrings look really good. The baby hairs are thick. She does have the black hair going. She looks cute too. She looks cute too, y'all. Um, I definitely would give her a cabaret cash. You know, jo Jocelyn is always about her aesthetic, her theme. You know what I'm saying? She always puts her best foot forward to look good. That's what I would say. Um, now, if I had to pick one person, and this is excluding Jocelyn because, you know, I feel like it would be easy to give her the crown. So she's really not in it, but I'm just showing you guys her picture too. Now, as far as who do I link, think look the best overall, I'm going to say Daisy. I'm going to say out of the cast, Daisy definitely put herself together the best. And who would I say actually put themselves together poorly? And it's like no redeemable qualities at all. I'm going to have to give West, Worst Dress to Yummy P. Because I feel like if, if the bow wasn't, I mean, the bow does stand out, but... I'm just not liking it. So I'm going to give best dress to Daisy and worst to Yummy P. This is out of everyone, new and old. But um, those are all the looks for the season. Now, I do want to kind of show you guys something. This is T. There are promo shots of Raven and Diamond. They're kind of blurry, but I have them. Let's, let's go check them out. Yeah, so maybe originally they were going to keep Diamond and Raven because... You can see them behind her right here. So looking at this picture, we can also add Diamond and Raven just as extra. They not really in it because they got deleted. Um, Raven looks cute. Her outfit is simple too. It's black. It looks like she has a short black cut 
with the strappy heel but um her outfit is simplistic too and as far as diamond diamond's outfit looks really good her hair looks good it looks like her makeup looks really good i don't know if the boots are connected to the outfit but that's what it's looking like diamond looks really good we're going to compare them to each other if i had to compare raven and diamond's look I'm going to rock with Diamond. I'm going to say Diamond really put that together. Even though Raven looks good, it's simplistic. Diamond's is simplistic too, but she just took a chance. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, girl, I know they salty. Oh, deeper detail. But y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Um, who do you think looks best on the promo pictures? Or who do you think looks the worst and do you guys have a favorite so far so far i don't like out of the ogs or the original girls personality wise i don't think i'm like oh i have to watch because of this personality like no one's really sticking out like that yet but we're only on episode four so we'll see what the show continues to bring Thank you guys for spending time with me today in this fashion recap for Jocelyn's Cabaret New York promo pictures. The ladies have um, put their best foot forward. I can't wait for next week to see what's going to happen next. But you guys comment below. Who do, whose fashions did you think were worthy of the cabaret cash? And whose fashion do you think <laughs> sent them back to the strip club with Stevie, honey? Yes! You guys let me know in that comment section below. And remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.